Hey guys, I'm at the Carnation Mall, and it's pretty sad. Take a look. This used to be a pretty nice uh, retail clothes store. And it's closed down, and there's like nothing there. Now we do have uh, Dunham's over here, which is still doing pretty good. This is like the only sporting goods store in the town, so they're doing pretty well with a lot of bikes and kayaks, and it's off season right now, but they're doing pretty good. Huh. And uh, mm -hmm. looks like a commercial for Holiday Inn. That's, that's all that room is for. Not very fancy. It's pretty much a glorified uh, mall walkers zone, really. So here's uh, another closed down store. This is sad. Another closed down, I think this used to be Sears. Another closed down store. More closed down stores. A lot of those weren't really stores, they are just kind of display places there towards the end. It's a really cool comic book store. Um, there were really good guys that ran that store. Pandemic kind of hurt them. We got a, another closed uh, furniture store. I don't know how many furniture stores have been in here. It's pretty sad. Got a nail salon, and it's doing pretty good. They've been there for as long as I can remember. So, at least they can still survive in these hard times. Well, we do still have a bath and body I wasn't able to show you because there are some people back there. I'll circle back through and show you. I just didn't, don't want to get anybody on camera. A lot of privacy rights. I wouldn't want people to get me on camera. So, uh, here's another store that's closed down. It's pretty huge, the store in there, and it's just empty. Um, really, guys. So, uh, the other side, occasionally a Halloween store will pop in here, but that they found a new location the last couple years, and they haven't been coming down, so maybe that's hurt some business, too. It's another store that's doing pretty good. And down there, we have a, there's a church in the mall. And there's a uh, J.C. Penney's down there that's actually closed down as well. And then there's a spa that they cut hair and stuff like that. They're doing pretty good. That salon is still open. Um, but the J.C. Penney's is closed down. The church is still doing business. Uh, or <laughs> they're still in business. They're, uh, I've never really heard of a, a mall in a church, but this one has one. So, so far on this end of the building, there's only like three ends of the building. This end only has a salon, a spa area, and a church. The other side, all it had was Dunham's, which is a sporting goods store, and uh, a Bath and Body Works. So, there's some offices, looks like, in here. They're using some of these for offices. This used to be a pretty nice gaming place where you could play cards and you could buy used games and well, the pandemic and the internet probably hurt that one. I used to, used to come here to play cards. So over there you see the, the town's Bath and Body Works. A lot of people come here for their lotions and stuff like that. We Down here we have pretty much the most alive part of the mall. You've got the... Um, uh, this is down here is where the movie is, the movie theaters are. Some of the cheaper, th cheapest uh, movies you can watch in the area. You're not paying an arm and leg. Something that is experiencing, the small is experiencing. There's a lot of roof damage. And, I mean, this is the, this is the food court, guys, and the water damage is right over the food court. They have tarps that has been hanging up and they're just kind of struggling with surviving with it. The movie theater's over there, it's not open yet. I'm kind of here early, so I don't have a whole lot of people around. But then this is the arcade. It kind of spills out into the food, food court. 
and I'm gonna do a separate video for the arcade, but it's, that's what's over here. Over there used to be an entrance for uh, like a bar area, and it's what we saw from the outside when we were doing our driving video. But uh, yeah, this is the arcade, guys, um, and the whole Carnation City Mall. That's it. We can fit it all in a five minute walk. And uh, most of the stores are closed. It's really sad, guys. Uh, again, this may have something to do with the pandemic. It may have something to do with the, the parking lot. The, uh, just, I don't, I'm not sure maybe the damage of the roof. There's a lot of factors, but it's, a, it's definitely a sad, sad scene. Um, when I was here 20 years ago, this place was popping. People were lining up to go to movies and go to buy cards and do car tournaments and doing we had car shows in here and now now this is pretty sad guys so um maybe this can do some good and uh drive some business down here and get some good changes all right thanks guys signing off for the next video